My love is everlasting Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting Ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing And please, if you're new to this channel Make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all so i turn up a new banger a new this video will definitely be notified let's talk about our brother fa the one and only the silent roller the nigerian nightmare jabba and of course this fight tonight um ajabba fights a very interesting guy he's fighting a very interesting fighter in guido vianello um a guy with 14 fights in total 12 wins 10 knockouts one loss and one draw now guido vianello is of course stable man of job i think he's signed to top rank as well well built by no the promotion ajabba is on, on the comeback rise after the performance against france sanchez we know what happened in the fight ajabba might, might have not been ready for that version of france sanchez because my opinion of Ron Sanchez for the first few rounds wasn't really too like was 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 very he was he was scared of being hit by Jabba but as soon as he figured out a little bit of a Jabba scheme he began to like um like time a Jabba better and stuff like that I think that fight deserves a revenge a Jabba that's a fight he can win my opinion on Fran Sanchez is nothing special. Good thing is fighting uh, on the on the on the card of uh, Fury Usyk, so we'll get to see how good that guy really is. And um, yeah, we have to see. We really have to see. Now, who is Guido Vianello? Guido Vianello is a very special fighter, an Italian born in Roma um Lazio Italy you know resides in Las Vegas never the USA we have to look at his resume um I think I heard about him when he fought Chris Kingsley Ewe you know our brother um of course Chris Libby lost to Jared Anderson we know what happened there Ebe was supposed to be Anderson but could have been as I said in my opinion but you know lack of experience stuff like that was the reason but we would have been a lot did lose to Jonathan Rice so there's a common opponent um right here a job but did defeat Jonathan Rice you know we know that that was in 2020 and Jonathan Rice defeated Guido Vianello. Vianello was undefeated. Proud to fight Jonathan Rice and getting the getting stopped. So on paper you say Ajabba should stop Guido Vianello. But boxing doesn't really work that way. Because stars make fight. We've been seeing the rapid change you know in boxing and how fast paced it is in fact in my opinion i think ajaba should be on the ajaba deserve to be on the card this saudi card bro the brother deserve to get a bag that's fast he deserves to get that bag bro because everybody will be getting in france sanchez who is not an exciting fighter is getting the bag ajaba who is the next who is the next in line deserve that back bro 
think Top Rank should do something about it. I think Francis is signed to. I think he has a deal with PBC or something. Oh, is he free agent? I don't know. But Ajabba deserved that bag. Ajabba's record is impressive. You know, looking at his boxing experience, despite coming in the game late. Bro, the likes, the people Ajabba has beaten, like this guy wrote you not this. You know, um, Curtis Harper, the guy basically, you know, this girl could disqualify because he got scared of, of Ajabba. He did beat Nick Jones undefeated. Okay, Amir Mansell like stopped him in his corner. Michael Valish, that was easy work for Ajabba. Ali Ered Demirzin, an Olympian, Ajabba gave him his first ever loss. And Ali Ered Demirzin is now 17 now, 17 and 1. 17 wins, 1 loss. So since losing to Ajabba, He's been undefeated, beating Kamin Sokolowski, uh, Gerard Washington, Kevin Johnson, Adam Kornacki. So, Ajabba's resume is tight. Iago Kilatsi, of course, was a cruiserweight normally, but he gave Ajabba hell, he gave Ajabba a chop. Razva Kojonu, Ajabba stopping him. Fran Sanchez, that loss. Still kind of hurt me in a way. But this is a, this is supposed to, this should have been a win. Well, Fran Sanchez, we all know, is fighting Ajay Kabaya. Or very. B- basically, both are the same style. Ajay Kabaya is a technical guy. I don't know if he carries the power. But his last fight was impressive. He stopped the mountain man. You know. So Guido Vianello, Ajabba is still on the looking at Jabba's resume. Since losing to Fran Sanchez, he's fought Joseph Damos, Steven Shaw, uh, Zan Kozobuski. Zan Kozobuski, we know about this guy who was not defeated, but by the way, he, Ajabba got a revenge on him. Zan Kozobuski did beat Honorio Warime, the Godzilla. But Ajabba got a revenge. Uh, Joseph Good, Goodhall and now fighting Guido Vianello. So, looking at it, Ajabba has had four wins. Has added four wins to his resume since losing to Franz Sanchez. I'm not overlooking to, <laughs> tonight's fight. Um, because easy to overlook it. Um, you see, stars may fire the guy that Ajabba beat, beat with a little but that doesn't really work that way. But Ajabba should win this fight and then move to the bigger, bigger things. Because Ajabba should be way more bigger than this. He knows this already, anyway. And I would say, has he been active enough? Well, he fought twice, three times in 2023. He needs to be active this year, more active. The big fight has to come. So, um, my prediction for this fight, I can say, yeah, Ajabba wins. How he wins, I think he knocks Guido Vianello out. Whatever I lose a tree guy, you know, it sometimes switches stance. You know, yeah, it's auto does but some, it finds a very different way. You know, that Italian style is very different. I just one might be used to those kind of style, but still never to underestimate with the Vanello. Because Vanello might not be in a Jabba's level, but. He's an heavyweight and he's dangerous. So this is gonna be an incentive fight. What do you guys make of this fight right here? Your thoughts below. Like if you subscribe. I'll be right here to update you on the fight. And I can't wait to watch this fight. God bless you.
Cheers.